Good day everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. So today I am going to discuss this topic, solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of decimals and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. So, when we say non-routine problems, yung involved na operation na gagamitin natin ay two or more operation. And then, when we say routine problems naman, isang operation lang yung ating gagamitin. So, example, kung mag-multiply ka, so multiplication lang gagamitin. Kung addition, ay addition lang. So, example. So, last year, before the pandemic, 316 parents paid 2,400 pesos and 65 centavos each for their children's health insurance package in Santa Lucia Elementary School. About how much did the parents pay in all? So, as you can see, itong problem natin, dito sa dulo, yung tanong niya, may nakalagay na about. So, ibig sabihin, yung hinihinging sagot dito ay kailang i-estimate natin kasi may nakalagay na about. Pero kung wala yung about na yan at ang nakalagay ay how much did the parents pay in all, ibig sabihin, hindi estimate yung ibibigay mong result. So, since na may about, i-estimate natin yung sagot natin. So, sa pag-solve ng word problems, so we're going to use the first step plan. So, ano yung first step Diba yung first step ay understand. So, under dito yung what is asked. So, so what is asked, eto yun, ano? The amount of money did the parents pay in all. So, yun yung asked. And then, yung given natin, under pa rin sa understand yon given 316 parents and then yung isa pa 2,400 pesos and 65 centavos and then after ng understand ano yung kasunod nun? plan so how are we going to solve the problem? so under doon yung operation na gagamitin natin ano yung operation? ano? So, ang operation na gagamitin natin dito ay multiplication. Alright. Then, after nun, under din dito yung number sentence. So, 2,400 pesos and 65 centavos times 316 equals n. So, ito ang ating number sentence. And then, yung pangatlong procedure ay solve. Okay. So, sa pangatlo ay yung solve. Okay. So, dito na natin ipapakita yung solution. So, 2,400 pesos and 65 centavos times 316. So, since nasa problem natin ay may nakalagay na about, sabi ko nga, kailangan i-estimate natin, no? Estimation ang ating gagawin. So, that means we have to round off this given into nearest highest least value. So, let's say ito, no? I-round off natin siya into nearest thousands. So, ang sagot dito ay 2,000. Then, times, ito naman, 316, so, sa nearest hundreds. So, 3 hundreds. So, ang dali lang sagutan, no? 3 times 2 is 6. And then, just rewrite, no? Itong mga zeros na to, ilan yan? So, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Then, the answer is 600,000 pesos. So, may label yan kapag nilagay mo na sa sagot. Sa answer, ano? Answer. O. Oh. 600,000 pesos. 
Ano yung la label niyan? Is the amount. Is the amount of money did the parents pay in all. Okay. So, another problem. So, that means yung, yung ginamit natin procedure na per step lang yung lagi ang inyong gagamitin sa pag-solve ng word problem, no? Step by step procedure natin. Ito pa isang problem. The Bergara family went to a carnival. They bought two tickets for adults at 180 pesos each and three tickets for children at 160 pesos each. How much change did they receive from a 1,000 peso given to the ticket seller? Okay, so gamitin din natin yung four step na yan. Okay, yung number one ay understand, under don ay ask. What is asked? So, the amount of change did they receive from a 1,000 peso given to the ticket seller. Okay. Then, after nun, what are given? So, ito given. 2 tickets, 180 pesos, 3 tickets, and then 160 pesos. Na ikasunod dun sa plan. O, under sa plan, ano yung operation na gagamitin natin? So, kung titignan sa problem, hindi lang isang operation yan. So, ano yung mga operation na pwedeng gamitin dyan? Magsusubtract ka. And then, mag-a-add ka rin. O, tignan natin sa number sentence. No? Sulat muna natin after sentence para alam natin kung ano yung mga operation na gagamitin. Okay, magkano yung binigay sa ticket seller? So, 1,000. Ile-less natin yung pang binayad, di ba? So, gagamit tayo ng parenthesis. So, yung tickets daw ng adults ay 180 pesos each. So, 2 times uh, 180. Ay, dapat pala, mayroon pa ditong ganito, no? Kasi, imumultiply pa natin yung isa. 3 times 160 oh, yung saradong ganon ano, and then equals hindi na, hindi na magkasya ano, so etong problem natin, dito sa ask nya, no sa hinihingi ng problem hindi estimation yan kasi ala naman nakalagay na about about, no so that means yung actual na presyo yung hinihingi So, ibig sabihin, ito number sentence natin, no? So, kung mapapansin nyo, ano yung involved na operation? We have uh, subtraction, multiplication, and then addition. So, tatlong operation ang ginamit natin. So, that means example ito ng non-routine problems. So, ang gagawin natin, we're going to follow the PEMDAS rule. Yung naka-inclusive parenthesis, isi-simplify natin. So, 2 times 180. Diba? 360. Kung hindi mo kayang i-oral, ay pwede kang mag-scratch. So, 360. Ay. Lagay mo pari parenthesis dito. Plus. Ay. So, let's say, itong 160 times 3, ay hindi mo ta talaga kaya na. Hindi mag-scratch ka. Pwede naman yon 160 times 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 480. Ayan. Equals N. O, pwede nang burahin yung in-scratch na yan. O, pagkahari, o, itong naka-enclose pa rin, simplify pa rin natin. O, i-add naman siya 360 plus 480. Okay, 0 plus 0, 0. 6 plus 8 is 14. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 8. So, 840. Equals N. Okay, then afterwards, 
So, subtract na natin si 840 kay 1,000. Kung kayang i-oral, ay okay lang. Kung hindi, ay mag-scratch ka. Ah, dito na lang. 1,000 minus 840. May mag-borrow tayo dito, no? 9, 10, 9. Ay, hindi na pala kailangan kasi 0 na yun, ano? So, ibig sabihin, eto 10 na siya. 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 8 is 1. Then the answer is 160 pesos. Ah, pag sinulat mo na siya doon sa part ng answer, so hindi lang pwedeng 160 pesos lang dapat may label yan. The change did they receive receive from the ticket from the ticket seller alright that's all for now thank you for watching